Um, we're here tonight in celebration of Heather's life. Heather's life continues to bring such goodness to childkind as she serenades the souls of so many precious children as they heal in children's hospitals through the magic and the music of Heather on Earth. Uh, when you lose a child, you really have to redefine your life because it takes on different meaning. A couple of years after she passed away, I, I decided to have to do something with my time. And I decided to um, go into the world of children's nonprofit organizations. And it's there, but it took me 10 years to find the meaning of her destiny as well as my own. It was one defining moment about five years ago when I was in the cafeteria of Schneider Children's Hospital as they were wheeling these children in to the patient parties that I conducted for about 15 years. And when the children were being wheeled in, they were so lifeless. They were just dull, lifeless, no limbs, no light in their eyes. And all of a sudden, the New York City swing band starts to play the music. And the kids just lit up. Limbs start going, they started singing, they started rapping. And that was the defining moment when I said, this is what I could do with my life. It's one thing that I could bring to all these children as they heal, it's music. And that was the beginning of the creation of Heather. We're so proud because we were existing at Schneider Children's Hospital in New White Park. We opened the doors of Maria Ferrari Children's Hospital in Westchester. And through our extraordinary jewelry collection um, from Israel and somebody being noticed by it, Heather on Earth is now in the Holy Land reaching children in the Holy Land, the Middle East, and other countries. And recently opened the Winthrop Hospital on Long Island. I'm so proud to be here tonight because we're also so proud to fund Joanne Lowy's program um, and a two-year study, with The Effects of Live Music and the NICUs. And I'm here for a big reason, because a really good friend of mine introduced me to Joanne Lowy. I certainly couldn't do any of this without the wind beneath my wings, which my parents were always incredible. My mom, the big giant in my life, who's always been there for me, gave her life up for Heather, mom. Love ya. So, my girls, they're all standing here. They are, they were heaven sent. Five weeks after Heather passed away, I had Jillian and Shana and Taryn. They give me every reason to live. And then there's my husband. These programs could not be funded without my husband. He might be very silent in his morning, but when it comes to funding at our birth, there is nobody bigger and more grand and more full of heart than my husband. I have to also say I have an incredible fan club here, and it's a labor of love to them. And they're all standing here, and I look at them from they're with me since I'm five years old, and I met the most eclectic people along the way, but I look at them, and I am just the luckiest person in the world to have them with me here tonight. All of you. You all know who you are. I think the quick do it now, you be very, very thankful. It's really impossible not to fall in love with Heather on Earth, because we stand alone in our mission. We bring the most beautiful gift that God has given us, which is music, and we're here to stay. We're going to fine tune the programs we have, and people are writing to us from all over the country. So I always end in saying, to me, it's miraculous, it's magical. But to me, it's Heather and Heather. Anyway, switching gears, neonatal intensive care units, or NICUs, are the rooms where premature babies are cared for. So they're not exactly where you'd expect to hear Rihanna's music played, but a recent study reveals that music therapy can help the baby's development. For more, here's Yaz. When NICUs have music therapy programs, they don't just use your standard lullabies. They also play everything from rock and pop to hip-hop. I recently visited the Beth Israel Medical Center here in New York City to learn how popular songs are being used to literally help heal tiny hearts. Top Billboard's Hot 100 chart, earning her a 12th number one single. And in Beth Israel.
Israel's NICU. It is improving the life of premature baby Emma, born two months too soon. Was once thought that an incubator without any noise would help the babies grow fast. Yeah. But we know differently now. Dr. Lowy led a two-year-long study of the use of music as medicine by examining its effects on 272 infants in 11 hospital NICUs. Songs like Rihanna's Diamonds are used by more than 20 NICUs across the country to help premature babies develop. No one doubts the power of music to lift our spirits. Some say music has the power to ease the suffering of the ill as well. Not in every case, of course, but it helps more often than you might suppose. Dan Rather offers evidence of that. Good. Can you shake that for me? Hello. Good. Hello. Shake it up, Jake. Schifano started his rounds on this day with five-year-old Jake Brower, who less than two hours earlier had his tenth brain operation. Can you shake it? Good boy. Terrific. To put the shaker in his hand um, and then try to get him to shake on his own, I think was very empowering for him and very empowering for the parent. Wonderful thing to be able to put a smile on a little kid's face, especially one that's been through what he's been through. Baby Sakura is suffering from a head injury, and Shifano is playing for both the baby and her father. You can just imagine dad feeling overwhelmingly anxious. They were both kind of got into this lull, um, and that's the hope, that's, that's what you want to do. That's, you know, the baby to feel my dream of keeping Heather alive and, you know, just doing what I can has turned into the um, most miraculous, extraordinary mission. And I really believe that you're all God's messengers. Um, I really, you know, I tell everybody, I don't even have enough live music or any music in my life. Um, but I, I feel I received that message through my daughter. And I can't think of a more incredible queen of music therapy to carry her around the world in her heart. and and her soul and she's resonating to all of you. So it was really important for me to come and meet all the faces and all the people that are bringing music to heal the world because I think that might be the only answer to world peace and you know, all good things. And, uh, and what can I say? Thank you for having me and I'll keep doing what I do. You keep doing what you do and it's perfect harmony. Amen. <laughs>